How's it going? Look at this. I'm in Russia right now. Oh, got some bad news. The uh, mustard virus is back. Oh, this guy's an idiot. These men are not cold. It is freezing out here. What, what is going on here? They're doing zombie things here. Oh, you know, a man gets to Russia thinks he's gonna have a good time, and oh, look at this. Everyone's dead. It's cold. The mustard virus has gone global, but here's the thing. It has not, the mutations have not reached Russia yet. This is a whole different type of zombie, immune to the cold. But you know who's not immune to the cold? Me. A, a man who's gonna freeze out here. It's gonna get progressively colder and colder throughout this playthrough, and I'm a man who better button up, you know, because it's freezing out there. I'm gonna try to survive for 100 days. And here's the thing. Every 10 days, the virus is gonna mutate again. Day 10, the zombies are gonna get a little bit faster. Day 20, they're gonna get a little more tough. Day, day 30, they're gonna get, get, I don't know, they're gonna do something, okay? I haven't figured out what the mutations are gonna be yet, but there, there's gonna be something. The map I'm playing on, absolutely amazing. This time I have seen a tiny bit of it before playing, so I'm not totally new, but I don't know where any of the loot is, I don't know where any of the, it's, it's Russia, okay? I commissioned my man Artem to do this. He did it such a, a phenomenal job. And then, uh, some, my man's from the Discord, Kitty Rules and Kat Somniac came in and, uh, added some loot and stuff. It's all good, this place is, you know, yeah, imagine if they put, like, a snowmobile or something on here for me. Oh God. Something like that. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, forgot to mention. I'm eating right now. New rule. No lava. Okay? Can't surround my base with lava. And number two, I can't build my base in the sky, okay? I can't have some sort of floating UFO base. There's also one more catch, but you'll, uh, you'll, you'll see what that is soon. Like usual, the map's available on my Patreon. So, uh, any supporters, you can go get the map. It's there. Okay, before I begin, I just want to say one thing. Look how close I am to 5 million subscribers, okay? I mean, I mean, kind of close, not super- If you want to subscribe to a man like me, I'm gonna tell you one thing that's gonna happen, alright? I'll sit there and I'll smile every time I look at my computer. Wow, one- oh, absolutely wonderful. Okay, l last thing. If you want to leave a comment saying something like, Hey, this man survived zombies, this man survived parasites, this man survived any- Is there anything this man cannot survive? I wonder. Maybe I can think of something. What am I even saying right now? It's just, come on. Okay, you know what? No more rambling on. Here it is. 100 days in the mustard virus. Okay, hey, here we go. Yeah, man alone in Russia. One man versus a endless supply of zombies. And you know what? Almost immediately I had to take one of these things down. Oh, look at this. I got a man with a shovel here. What are you doing? He's gonna hit me with a shovel, strike me across the head. I gotta beat this man down with my bare hands. There we go. For some reason I started with uh, two experience. I, I don't know why this is, okay? There's something weird going on here. Someone, someone's in the comments is gonna be like, hey, he's, he's up to something. I, I'm not up to anything, okay? I'm just a guy trying to survive. Gonna end up on some uh, two hour long breakdown video, and I'm gonna have to hire some sort of uh, ma magician to show that I. Yeah, uh, nothing's going on here, okay? Okay, I wanna see if this works. How's it going? Uh, snowball to the head? Oh, look at that. I can use these snowballs to, to bounce them back. Just uh, whip snowballs. There. Here you go! Look at this! He's going! The man is flying, snowballs to the dome. When I got to the city, I, I, I went to this, like, a... You went to this farm? I don't know, I snuck in the back and uh, went into the farmhouse. Oh, look at this! I wonder if they see me. Hey, out back, there, there, was, there was a house that had, like, a whole bunch of chickens in it. Like a chicken house or something like that. This is good! You know, I was not expecting to find a whole bunch of chickens in Russia here, but I was glad to see these guys. The only problem was that they were loud and, uh... They, they drew the attention of the horde, because when I left, was, the horde was on me. Look at this. Okay, there is a lot of them. That is a lot of zombies right here. I'm just start throwing snowballs in here. They started pushing me back a bit, and I realized, you know what? It's better to turn around and run. Don't, don't be screwing around with the horde of zombies day one. So I ran to this uh, nearby church, 
But when I got in there, it kind of, I should have picked a better building going because it was also a horde of zombies in there. Oh, there's a there's a lot of them in there. Oh, the horde's coming. Okay, okay. Just knock that, just knock that right down. So I had to run up the bell tower. The whole set of stairs. And when I got up to the top, just look at this. Okay. Okay, they're coming into the tower. They're coming into the tower. It's day one. It's day one and I'm already in a... There was a chest up there, and when I opened it up, I saw what looked like a blue sword, and I thought, Whoa! A diamond sword day one! Perfect for a man like me. And then I found out that that, uh... No, it was platinum. I, I don't know if it's better than diamond or not, but you... You know, it's better than nothing. There's also, like, some other stuff in there, like, uh, bones and some bandages or something. So I spent the night in the, uh, bell tower. Uh, day one. A nice little view from the city up here. The next day, it was dawning on me that, you know what, this is... Gonna be a lot more tough than last time. This is gonna be... This is gonna be tough. So I had to get out of that bell tower somehow, so I just... just jumped off the roof. Which, uh, then led the horde away. Over here! Come on! All of you, come on! Come this way! Oh! Hey, 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 over here! Over here! Let's go, let's go, come on! Get all these men! Get them over here, right? Hey, come on! Come walk right out into the frozen wasteland. It's good for you over here. Come on. I got way out into a field and then I like I just dug a hole and thought, you know what, let's just lure these men into this hole. Hey, get them to walk in there and just make sure that I do not walk into this later on. I can see myself just walking straight into here. There we go. Hey, you guys enjoy it down there. It's a good hole. Get some peace and quiet now. I got back to the church and started clearing it out and destroyed uh, some spawners inside and uh, just got rid of that. Don't need zombies spawning below me and around me while I'm here. There was a house next to the church that I, you know, I had to know what was going on in there, so I uh, entered into the basement. I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea what was in this house. I completely forget, and I am currently not looking at the footage right now. I am just doing this straight from memory. Reading my barely legible notes. Okay, there could have been something good in the chest, I think there was. I, I think there was some good stuff upstairs too, there might have been like a crowbar or something. Yeah, well, what I do remember though is, there was a blood moon that night. Let's beat the zombie with a pipe. Okay. There's a blood moon. How did you all get in here? You guys can't be in here right now. There's a blood moon. Okay. Look outside. There's so many coming from... There's so many of them coming. I had a problem though. I was getting cold. And a very cold man up there. Freezing. Freezing, freezing, freezing. So I turned on the furnace, which it helped out a bit, but... I gotta start worrying about this warmth thing, because uh, it gets rough. In the morning, I can see the sunrise over the apartments. You know, that's a nice little sight right there. After the horde despawned, I left. I went to the uh, mansion on the hill, which, you know, when you see a house like that, you gotta go take a look at that. I made sure to collect as much of the iron gate blocks as possible because, you know, these iron gates are gonna be very useful later on. I'm gonna need these to build my eventual base. Uh, but for now, I just went inside, and this mansion was good. There's tons of good stuff all over. There's chests, there's like a bunch of glue, some duct tape. You can do a lot with glue and duct tape, I'm telling you right now. Uh, there's some medicine, all sorts of good stuff that I could use. Ooh, got a nice little fire going in here. Warm, nice. Oh, another one. Stim pack. MRE. This is... There's so much good stuff in this house. I kept looting the house, and uh, you know it was nice and warm in here? There lots of fireplaces, there's bookshelves. This was... It, this mansion was pretty good. I'm thinking, you know what, maybe I'll just stay here. But while looting the house, I saw that I was getting another blood moon. Yeah, two in a row. So I frantically ran around trying to secure the house. Uh, because it's, I did not want all those men out there storming in this house, taking me down. Yeah, it's getting laggy, you know what that means? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, here they come. So I spent the night uh, from... I, I think I just started mining from inside the house. Ooh, iron! It's excellent. Only a few pieces, but wow. Man, this is... Happy to see that. In the morning, I went and got all my stuff from the church and brought it over to the mansion. I, I was- I'm not s staying in a bell tower for more than- longer than I have to, okay? If I gotta s take shelter, I'm taking shelter in a mansion. Okay, that's what you gotta do. So I got my stuff back and uh, I made an iron pick. Okay, there we go, iron pick. Not bad at all. This is pretty good. I'm not gonna stay here permanently, okay? I'm gonna do that thing where I just spend a couple days in the little house, figuring out where I'm gonna build, and gathering resources and stuff like that. For now, the house is okay, okay? It's decent. I went back to the town though, and uh, I entered one of the houses that had a, had a ton of zombies in it. They're all banging on the door outside. And you know what? 
almost died doing this. The zombies haven't even mutated yet, and I lost like half my health. Just fighting like, what was it, like one or two of them there? This, if I was gonna play like this in the future, I was not gonna survive this whole thing. I gotta start being smarter. It was just a big waste of time too, because there's nothing in that house. Just to risk my life for nothing. On my way back to the mansion, I, I stopped by that uh, house next to the church and eluded the barrel. Oh, look at that, look at all these leads and name tags and slime. Good stuff right there. I gotta get back to it, because this is, uh... They have a fire beat out here. At least there's no blood moon tonight. Finally, no blood moon. My man, gotta, I gotta show you Genshin Impact, okay? The sponsor of this video, okay? Genshin Impact is an open-world RPG game. Cross-platform, too. You can play it on uh, PC, Android, iOS, PlayStation 4 and 5. Lots of stuff. The game just released version 2.2. There's so many mysteries to go find in the land of Teyvat. This is a real open world experience, okay? There's seven unique regions where e each region has its own unique culture, uh, from the styles of architecture, clothes, to different co uh, customs and national characters. You, you get real immersed playing this game, okay? It, it truly feels like a giant world. Yeah, you know, climb, swim, glide your way. It's a beautiful world, jaw-dropping landscapes and intriguing challenges. Oh, there's all sorts of stuff to do. There's all sorts of characters like, look at her. She's got a cool little hat on. She's a pyro character and uses a pole arm, okay? Pole arm? It's a good weapon right there. And there's all sorts of events going on, like uh, the Shadow of the Ancients, okay? It's some cool stuff, so here's what you gotta do. You gotta go click the link in the description to uh, ch uh, check out and download and play Genshin Impact, okay? I've also got a code in the description that you can use to get 60 Primo Gems and 10,000 Mora in-game, okay? All you gotta do is just get to level 10. Oh, I've got all the information in the description. Big thank you to them for sponsoring this video. Go check it out, and uh, yeah, thank you, my mans. Go hey, have some fun! In the morning, I, uh, I went back to the town. That'll be good here. Toboggan. Just be a man sliding right down this hill. Sled down this hill. I made it there, and, uh, the first house I checked? Nothing. It, it, I was starting to think that a lot of these houses were empty, you know? Or just had useless stuff. Like this one right here? Poisonous potato. What am I gonna do with a poisonous potato? I, I, there's no way I'm eating that. What's the point of that item? She just sits there taunting you. You get hungry enough, maybe eat the- You know, enough of this uh, potato talk. Just m move on. So I kept walking through the town and I found this other place that said, like, Survivors for All. Or, uh, Shelter for- Something like that. It seemed welcoming. So I went in. Wow. Tons of stuff here. Oh, there's- look at all these seats. Ice pick. And tons of seats. Okay, that- that is- This spider web stuff? Very good. Hold on. Oh! What's going on in there? Weird stuff. This is... Oh, I have so much strength. So much strength. And all these arrows. Okay. Look at this. Look at this. This got to be one of the best places I could have went. After I left that camp, I realized, hey, where are all the survivors? Where is... Yeah, I guess they're dead. When I got back to the mansion, I saw that I, uh, had left a door open. You know when you're watching, uh, like, a zombie movie and you think, Who who's the idiot who leaves the door open? And then a zombie walks in in the middle of the night and bites someone who's sleeping? And apparently I'm that man, just leaving doors open. Can't be doing stuff like this, I'm not gonna survive if I'm leaving doors open. Okay, day six. I had no plan whatsoever, and we were getting very close to the first mutation. I thought that maybe, you know, I'll try to make some barbed wire, so... I went out to get some, but uh, when I got back, a, a zombie had gotten into my house somehow. Oh! The man got in here! How, how did he... How did a man like that get in here? That's a... a huge problem. Okay, I made 54 barbed wire. When you got 54 barbed wire, a man can do a lot! No zombie getting through that. Watch, if I touch it... Look at that. Damages you. That right there? That is how I'm gonna survive this. Right there. But now I needed somewhere to hold out permanently, so I went outside and started looking around. That was a big city. I walked out a bit further and I, I got a, a good sense of the scale of this place. Maybe that's a whole... Like a lakeside cat... A blue house over... This place is huge. I saw this, uh, like, building across the field, and I thought, you know what, let's see what's going on over there. So I ran all the way over there, across, uh, like, a frozen field. When I got there, I realized, oh, it's just a, just a bus stop. 
Nothing going on here. No chests, no doors, no, just a nothing. It's a bus stop. I just ran across a, a frozen wasteland for a bus stop. Now, where's this bus going? When I got back to the mansion after that long, pointless run, I uh, started looking at some of the stuff I could build, and I found out that I could make this, like, bat with barbed wire or base or spikes or nail. It's just like a deadly bat. So, I'm, of course, I made that thing right away, and wow, look at this. It's a beautiful piece of weaponry right here. Look at that. Spiked baseball bat. 12 attack damage. Look at this frozen zombie. Watch this. When I bash this guy's head out. This thing is... This thing is a weapon. In the morning, I was one cold man, and you know what? It's gonna get worse from this point forward. Every day is gonna get a little bit colder, colder, and colder, so I gotta deal with this right away. So I went back to that uh, survivor camp, and uh, started trying to harvest as much of the wool as I could from that one building. I'm gonna need a lot of this stuff. Also, look at this. See this chest right here? I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now, that chest appeared off camera, if you know what I mean. I want you to go ahead and leave a comment saying, the chest is fine, alright? You don't even know what's in it yet, just, it's fine. I'll show you what's in it. Cactus green, okay? I, I need this stuff to make a greenhouse. Without a greenhouse, I can't grow crops in the winter. And if I can't grow crops, I'm a, I'm a man who's gonna be dead, okay? It's so, there's no way that I can get this here in Russia. I was stressed about this, I was thinking about a way how I could... This, it's fine, okay? It, it's a little piece of dye and some cactus. It, it doesn't... Everything's fine, okay? And go ahead and leave another comment saying, just... A, a man who got what he needed, a man got what he deserved. A man who's true, and a man who's... I don't know. Just, it, everything's fine, okay? Don't, no one freak out about this chest. It's a little piece... Okay, move on. You're rambling again. Hey, this is a note from my man Wisefish. Don't even remove this from the video, okay? Leave this in while you're editing. Just show me making the liners, okay? This whole segment here, this whole day, day seven, just a, it, it's a write-off at this point, okay? All you need to know is that I made liners for my armor, and I got some cactus green, okay? We're gonna just move straight on to day eight here. Warm mining three, okay. This right here, warm chest piece. It requires a lot of wool. There you go, warm pants. Okay, my main is gonna be very warm now. It's good. Okay, so I ran around the house getting ready for the invasion tomorrow night. Day not the night of day nine, Things are gonna get wild here, so I set up torches, uh, I placed down some barbed wire everywhere, at one point I almost, I almost died. What was it? How, how did I almost die? Oh! Oh! Okay, that, uh... That would've killed me. Any other time. The next day, I ran across the frozen lake to see if there was anything out in the house that I could use for the horde tonight. And nope, <laughs> nothing at all, just some more food. Uh, and then I fell into an ice hole at one point, and, you know, I thought I was gonna freeze to death and drown out in the lake. Okay, okay, I thought... Oh. You know what I just realized? There's been no River Monsters episodes with, uh, frozen ice. He he's never- he, Jeremy Wade's never gone ice fishing. See if we can get that guy to go ice fishing. That'd be good. Yeah, you want? What about this? What if I go ice fishing for a video? Hey, you guys want to? You want to see a video of a man like me go ice fishing? If this, if this video gets four hundred thousand likes, I'll go ice fishing for. What am I talking about right now? Focus on the Minecraft video. Oh, the sheep. That was very good. Very, very, very good. Hello, my man. So happy to see you. I'm gonna have to... Oh, no time for sheep right now, okay? Because tonight is a very dangerous night. Right before the zombies mutate, they, they do something crazy. They, they go nutty or something, I don't know. The mustard virus does something crazy. They get the ability to break blocks and build up to them. So, from now on, on the, like, the 9th night, 19th night, 29th, 39th, etc. Zombies go crazy right before they mutate. And this night, this was the first attack. Here they come. They, they already broke one. They already broke through. Breaking the windows? They're inside. They're in. Look how many there is.
There's so many of them. I can fight them all. At one point, I fell off the roof and had to run across the field. And just look at this. The zombies hadn't even mutated yet, and this was getting... How can a man survive something? Imagine this on day 99. How am I going to survive through that? These guys are slow right now. But they are going to be... There's no way this strategy will work in the future. But I wanted to try something while I could, so I crafted some explosive arrows uh, with the explosive charges that I had found. And you know, these didn't... It didn't work at all. Just a big waste of time. Eventually, I lured the horde away, and then in the morning, I just returned to my house to see the damage. Okay, I survived. Oh, that was tough. Okay, I, I can't stay here. This place will not survive another attack, so it's time to move on and uh, figure out where to build. So I started stripping down the barricade, and uh, I ran across the snow field to this little farm village. There's next to nothing here besides a, a barn full of zombies. Oh! There's something going on in here. There's a lot of zombies in this barn. Oh! Oh, they're faster now. Forgot about that. Look at this. Oh! I was just about to head home when I saw that I was getting another blood moon. And with not much around, I ran inside and locked the door uh, to one of these farmhouses. Look at these guys out of the window. Like, look at this. Just swarms of zombies outside. I'm freezing. I gotta sit next to this furnace to warm up. Look at these men. I'm trying to get in there. In the morning, I ran outside, and wow, there's you know, a lot of zombies. There's so many of them. I don't even know what to do here. Like, what do you do here? I'm gonna have to lead them away. Okay, everyone over here, everyone over here! Look at this, I'm right here! Like, they're surrounding the whole... I got away from the zombies, but I was feeling like a man on the run with nowhere to go. Okay, you really gotta figure something out here, so... I, I stopped by the church on my way back and realized there was, like, a ladder that I'd missed before with a chest. And the chest, it had, like, zombie blood. I'll figure out what I could use that for later. Locust. Reactor. Flesh morph. Made from the flesh of the undead, the flesh morph can be used for powerful healing items and even bringing back the dead. Oh, that sounds... Can you make these things? How do you make these? Oh, a man like me could probably find a use for that. So when I got back home, I made the flesh morph and uh, I tried to use it on a zombie. It didn't do anything at all. It did not... I, th I thought maybe if I... I don't know what I thought, okay? Thought maybe I could cure this guy. Nothing. I tried throwing it at him. I tried hitting him with it. I threw it on the ground. I, I, I did everything. It did nothing, so I just left. The, the thing was just totally useless. But you know what's not useless? Dynamite, okay? Yeah, I made some of that, and I'm gonna hold on to that in case things get bad. Just throw some dynamite at the zombie. Day 12. The mansion was just falling apart at this point. It, it was not safe, so I just sealed the room that I was staying in. Try to keep that area safe. Everywhere else, I may as well consider zombies living in the mansion with me at this point. I needed to mine, though, so I started digging down to try to uh, get some stuff. And look at this. Yeah, I found diamonds right away. Oh. Okay. That's, uh, that's good. At Y30. I have no idea what was going on here. I, I don't know why they weren't spawning at the like Y12 or wherever they normally spawn, but I, I guess when the map was being generated... They set it so diamonds can spawn other... I don't know what was going on, but you know what? I was not going to complain about something like that, alright? It's going to be a man who would just take my diamonds and move on. This is not a problem at all. It's actually great news. Anyway, so uh, my iron pickaxe broke, and uh, I went up to the surface again. I was very glad that I sealed this room up. Look at this. How are you in my house right now? What is going on here? But when I went back down the, into the mine, zombies were spawning down there for some reason. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What? How many of these? You got a bunch of guys in there? What's going on? As I was heading back up, I realized that I'm going to need coal to convert all this cobblestone into stone bricks. And I shouldn't be doing that thing where I skip coal when I'm mining, so... On my way back, I stopped to get some coal, and... Just look, I mean, I mean... I was becoming a very lucky man. 
Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm glad I went for that coal. I made a shield and uh, went back down. I found even more diamonds. At this point, I was a man who was swimming in diamonds. I was just getting crazy. This is crazy. Oh, and some gold too. Hey, why not? I got 12 diamonds right there. I'm finding more diamonds than I'm finding iron right now. Okay, I, I now had 23 diamonds. Day 14, a man with 23 diamonds? I think I, I found more diamonds here than, I, than I've found in total throughout all of my previous 100 days videos. I've finished 100 days videos in iron armor because I could not find diamonds. You know what, when you got something like this, you may as well use it. So I made a, a chest piece, uh, then a pickaxe, and a uh, flanged mace. Oh, diamond flanged mace. It's bonus damage to undead. I'll save the rest for something else when I can't, I don't know what I want to make yet, but I'll, I'll find something else. So I tried it out and that mace, wow, pretty good. Very good mace. Hey, day 15, I still had no plans about where I was going to build. For some reason, I was still living in this mansion when I said I wouldn't be here for long, but yeah, I don't know. So I went out exploring, and I got to this, like, bus stop, which was near these apartment buildings, and uh, I looted it, and I got some lapis in there, along with some other, some good stuff in there, too. It was good, actually, kind of good I came here. Then I went into the apartments, and, uh, wow. Climbed right up to the roof. Hey, this might be a terrible idea right now. Just an absolutely stupid idea. Oh, look at that view. You can see a lot from up here. Pretty good. So I had a good look around and I saw some uh, buildings down below. Okay, it kind of gave me an idea. So I ran down and found out that the building that I wanted to go into was uh, not accessible. It was like a uh, black wool when you try to go in. So I can't go in there. But there was an apartment nearby that had a light on. I guess I'm like a moth or something because I had to know what was going on in there. I had to, it was attracted to the light. So I went into the apartment and started moving slowly to investigate. But uh, a blood moon happened. So I had to be fast. I found the room and killed some zombies and uh, followed the blood that was on the floor to find a diamond greatsword in a stove. And I looked out the window and just, wow. Glad, glad I did this quickly. Yeah, see, if I was still down there, the streets are crawling with them now. The whole building's really full of them, too. I realize you, blood moons, they're, they're not that difficult, okay? As long as you don't get caught out in the middle of the night and you're somewhere safe during them, they're not really a problem. You just sit there. You can't sleep, so you, you spend the whole night staring at a wall or mining. So in this case, I just... I just sat there. But then I started getting cold. And when a man's cold, you gotta do something. You gotta start moving around, warm up. So I, I tried to make a fire. I'm gonna have to move back and forth or something. I don't know. Yeah, I gotta... I gotta, I gotta keep moving to stay warm, otherwise I'm gonna freeze. I'm gonna freeze to death if I don't do this. I do this all night long. But that's when I realized I needed to escape because I'm not going to survive that. I'm going to freeze to death in here. And it did not go well. I don't know what to do. I got I to gotta get out of here. I'm going to have to go. This is this is brutal. Okay. They're coming up the stairs. They're coming up the stairs. Okay. Okay, can't go that way. Can't go that way. Yeah, they're coming up. Okay. Okay. Hit. That does not. That is not going to work. I have to find plan B. I have to find plan B right away. Okay. They can fall. They can fall in here. Okay. Okay. Oh wait, this is a furnace. Is there a wood? What can I burn? I gotta burn something. I gotta burn these covers. Go there and start burning. I, what can I cook? I gotta cook something. Cook wood. You can't cook wood. I gotta burn something. Okay. I, I was trapped in there now. I started to feel like this was gonna be the night that I died. And then I looked at the ground. I had an idea. Okay, I figured it out. I just gotta keep dropping. One floor at a time. I'm gonna run out of food very soon here. I could've cooked the potatoes. I gotta cook the potatoes. Okay, the sun's rising. I can make it out of this. I can make it out of here alive. I escaped the apartments, but just barely. Okay. That was extremely risky. Look at the- look at the horde! Okay, I gotta go. Which way- which way do I- It's this way. Here, I have a door. See if you can figure that out. I went further into the city, and I, I saw a horde was trying to get into somewhere. And normally when you see a bunch of zombies trying to get something, it's something good. So I went up to see what was going on over there, and- Look at this! No! Oh! 
There's a horse! Oh, how's it going? There's a man here. Hello. Cleric, too. That's a... Really fortunate. Ah, there's a house here. There's also a villager and an infected man in the house. What was going on here? Something, something weird happened here. Anyway, so I secured the villager and I figured I'd come back later for this horse. Just gotta find a saddle first. I'm gonna tell you right now, this horse, I come back for it later. This is a dumb horse, okay? It, one of the stupidest horses you'll... I'm spoiling. Okay, anyway, so there was this brick village nearby, or brick building. Uh, it had some spawners in it, so I tried to go clear it out, but it got overrun very quickly. Hotel. Okay, the hotel's a dead end. The ho there's no room in the hotel. I gotta keep this carrot. And eventually I ran out of food. I was getting very worried, a man freezing, starving. Just didn't know where to go, blood moon happenings, but there was this, uh, found this house that had a bunch of bread in it. So I spent the night there. There's also this, uh, this box or whatever. It had a bunch of rails in them, which will be very useful later. I'm gonna come back for this. I ran back to the house next morning, and, uh, I think I know where I was gonna build, so I started chopping wood. But then I kinda got distracted the next day by this, uh, big train. Oh, this train. Huh. Oh! So many beds on this thing. Very cool. Oh, that was just a huge waste of time. Not much going on there. So, uh, just ran back and it's getting colder and colder every night. Okay, day 19. First thing I see, zombie, no clothes. Weird, weird thing going on here. This is zombie. The zombie's not wearing clothes. Where's it? The zombie has no clothes on. But you know what? Day 19 is the... Today's the day. Just gotta survive tonight and, uh, and tomorrow I can start building. Needed to figure out where I was gonna spend the night. I was not gonna spend another night in the mansion, because that place was just gonna be shredded. So, I thought maybe this bar would be okay. So, first I went up to the roof and I added a bunch of torches so there'd be no zombies spawning above me. Uh, then I added bars to all the windows. My plan was very simple. Just remain calm and don't do anything to attract zombies, okay? They're attracted to light, sound, and movement. If I'm just a calm, relaxed man, it should be no problem to get through the night. What's- who's running right now? Oh! Where did- How did you even get in? Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Oh! Okay, they're coming through the windows. Okay, they're breaking the windows. Yeah, they're coming. Okay, this bar was a terrible idea. Look at that, they're- they're- I'm gonna freeze out here, I gotta find a way to stay- Okay, I had to flee the bar. There was- I was gonna freeze up on that rooftop, and I, there's no way I'm going out that way, okay? So, I- I fled. I, I ran back to the mansion, and I needed to warm up by the fireplace, so... I tried to make it there, but wow. <laughs> there's no way I was gonna be able to stay there, because the horde, they, they followed me. No, no, I don't wanna go over there. This is really bad. I'm gonna start freezing any second now. I spent the night running through the streets, just trying to stay warm by moving around. I don't know where to go, there's just so many zombies in every direction. Dude, everywhere I go there's zombies. The sunset, or the sunrise. Can't think straight right now. Okay. Day 20. Day 20. I ran back to the mansion. I was worried that when I got there, they had- the zombies destroyed my chest or something, and, uh, sure enough, they destroyed my chest! Yeah, all my stuff was just all spread out all across the ground. And luckily, I was able to scrape it all up and put it back in a box, and then, uh, do some mining. At this point, I really needed a cobble. I needed to start manufacturing bricks to, uh, build a wall or base or something. I needed- I just needed building supplies at this point. So I went mining. I, I got some- I was getting a little bit worried about being down there for too long, so I, I got my cobble and came back up. It was just a scared man. Oh! Okay! Okay! How, how did that guy get in here? That, that scared me. Okay. Y you see that? See how one zombie, if not dealt with, can just take you down? That- it's day 20 right now, and one zombie is almost killing me. How am I gonna survive 80 more days like this? 
Look at this. The next morning is starting to look a whole lot more like winter. It's getting real cold out there. I, at some point, I don't know if I had done it the day before, when I, I added more wool to my chest piece to just keep me a little bit more warm. A little bit more warmth because it's yeah, freezing. I knew where I wanted to build, though. Uh, outside the apartment buildings. Like, it makes some sort of a, I don't know. So, I, I went there. I had to kill a lot of zombies on the way, and I started looking around for the exact spot. But I, I found a small building outside, and I went in. Oh! Oh! Okay. I was not expecting there to be a horde in there. Okay. That was, uh... Okay. Oh. That scared me. That scared me big time. Okay. A bit of a problem here. So, I brought a bed and... I don't know. I'll figure it out tomorrow. Yeah, look outside. This is brutal. You know what? I'm not hiding in a room, okay? I had a plan. A foolproof plan. I lured the zombies into the one of the barbed wire uh, barricades. It dealt with them right away. Very good solution for now. So I figured, you know what? Hey, let's try it again. I'm gonna do it with the uh, outside horde now. And uh, yeah, so I set it up and opened the door. And uh, wow, things got out of control. Oh! Oh, okay! This whole night, just things, it was like a giant snowball getting out of control here. So once I had dealt with the horde, I went back outside and tried to plug one of the gates. But then I found out that there was another entrance to this whole compound. Oh, there's another gate. Okay, here comes the... I gotta, I gotta seal that thing up. So I spent the night shredding them. And in the morning, I, I made it out. So I went outside and I lured the horde away from the building and uh, around the gate. I wanted to funnel them into a spot and kill them. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa! Okay, they are sprinting now. They are sprinting. Yeah, this is gonna be a tough maneuver, but look at this guy. Oh! There we go. Oh! How did you get through? They're forcing their way through. They're, they're, okay. At this point, all I wanted to do was just secure an area that was safe enough to sleep in. Because here's the thing. I, I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but I changed the way Blood Moons work. I can now sleep during Blood Moons. Because previously, I would just find a room that was secure, and I would just stay there. I'd just sit there looking at a wall for 10 minutes. There's no point. There's no threat. But here's the thing. I made it so that every single night is a Blood Moon. So if I'm ever caught out at dark, I might become one dead man. So... It's not safe for a man out there. But right now, focus is not on that. I gotta, I gotta figure out what I'm doing here. So, I, I was having second thoughts about building outside of the apartment building. So, I was like, look at this. The zombies can just fall off the roof. I'm walking around minding my own business and just hitting the head with a dropping zombie. I, I did not want that to happen to me. But I wanted to build near the apartments because they were good at blocking light. Didn't want to be in a giant field like last time where every zombie in the whole area can see where I am. The, the apartments blocked light. Okay, the, the clock is ticking. It's day 23. Building is just going to get harder and harder from this point forward. I don't know what I was doing. I was wasting time at this point. Yeah, I was, I was, see, I was just walking around looking for somewhere else to build. This was just, I was just wasting time. I found this church, which was like between all these buildings in the area. I was thinking, hey, you know what? Maybe I'll build here. This area was looking okay. And then I went into the church. Had some good stuff in there. There was like a uh, first chest had some books and paper. Then there was like a totem of undying. Yeah, I see that. Pretty good thing. There's like blaze powder. There's a, like a brewing stand, some emerald slime. There's all lots of good stuff in there. So I just slept in there that night. In the morning, I went outside to, to clear things out, and the place very quickly was getting overrun. So I had to run out of there. I had to get out, and I realized, you know what? Not a good place. That is not a safe area. There's way too many variables, and uh, I even left stuff in the chest, including the totem of undying. How do you leave something like that? Yeah, but don't worry, I'm gonna come back for that later. Here's the problem. If I build at the apartments, they're great because they're thick and zombies aren't going to be able to see light through them. And then if zombies were on the outside of them, it's a lot for them to tunnel through to get to where I want to be. Only problem is, is that I have to clear that entire apartment building out. I, I have to make sure every room is lit up. It's a massive amount of work. This place is good, but... Yeah, the problem with them is that you come in here... And this whole area is just a massive zombie swan. I don't know what to do. Yeah, I, I'm a man who's barely getting by at this point. I went to the apartments again the next day, and uh, I tried to put up a wall. Look at this. It, it just looks so bad. And that thing is going to get torn down. I'm realizing that the apartments are not safe either. You know what? Nowhere's safe. 
I don't know why I was thinking that I'd find some, like, perfect safe area. The whole map is riddled with zombies, and it's just gonna get worse. Here, and just destroy it to get to me. Hey, I'll tell you a lot. Th this is exactly what I'm afraid of. Just that, but uh, imagine, like, a hundred of them doing that. I, I guess I could put torches up there on the, uh, to deter them from spawning, but they're also- they'd spawn inside the apartments. The whole area is just- nothing- it, I was learning that this was gonna be so difficult. It was only day 25, and I was a man who was very stressed out. Was, like, pacing around- I ended up going to this, uh, mansion across the lake. And I thought, maybe, hey, the lake might be good. What if I build around there? But by the time I got there, <laughs> night was falling, and, uh, you can't- you can't be stuck out at night. Not even now. So I tried to run back and find a bed in time. Yes. This is, what, this is what happens if you don't go to bed at the exact right time. I made a bed, but I cannot sleep. There's way too many zombies around me. So I guess I'm just uh, going to spend the night here and listening to the relaxing sound of hundreds of zombies. When a man gets bored sitting around, he, he does dumb things. Very dumb things, like trying to pour water on them. I, I don't know what I thought would happen here. They can swim! I forgot they can swim! I forgot they can swim! Look at this. It's daytime. I still got out of here. Okay, I escaped the building by jumping out one of the windows and running back to the mansion. I wanted to go through my stuff and see what, what supplies I had. I kind of forgot what I had in my chest because I'd been out for so long looking for things. I had one more idea. I had one more place I wanted to look to see if I would build there. But at this point, it was do or die. It's either I build something now, or I- or I'm going to die. So the next day, my plan was to go there. So I made a crossbow, a clock, and you know, some more stone blocks. Okay. The plan was to go back to that mansion on the frozen lake. I thought maybe I can put up a big wall around it and secure it, and I, I don't know. I, I just wanted to go back and see if I missed anything. I, I, sure enough, when I got there, there was a chest some iron in it, which was good because I was a man who really needed iron at this point. Very desperately needed iron. This was a, a huge find, actually. But when I walked around the man, it just didn't seem like a good place to hold out. So I, I left and kept walking into the woods. There was a house nearby. There some warnings on the outside, but uh, you know what? I went in anyways. What's going on there? I'm an idiot. I am... The biggest idiot in the world. I, I I might die here. I may die here. Come on, come on, go, 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 go! Break it! I am so dumb. I am so dumb. Okay. I... I can't even begin to express how stupid I am. That trap I just fell for? Guess who set that trap? I am a man who fell for his own trap. Let me explain what happened here, okay? When they sent me the map, I made a second version of it that I was going to post to Patreon. And in this version, I wanted to personally add a, a trap to it, the world that wasn't going to appear in the video so that it would be a surprise for when people played it. So I loaded the map, switched to creative, and I flew directly to one random building and spent like an hour building a trap in that building. Yeah, I was so excited. I thought this trap was beautiful. You, you walk over to a chest, you open the chest, and boom, you fall through the floor and you land in a web. And then you're slowly lowered into a horde of zombies that just rips you to shreds as you drop into them. I thought, wow, this is, this is the best trap ever. Well, you know what? Sometimes a man just walks into his own trap. It's the way it goes sometimes. Why don't you go ahead and leave a comment saying, hey, day 27? Don't even, don't even sweat it, okay? It happens to all of us. Happened to me too, in fact. So, so everyone, everyone leave that comment, okay? Good news is, is that, uh, there's a great reward if you survive. Like, look at this. Yeah, they're hitting me. Down below. So that night I slept in the house. I ran back to the mansion in the morning and it made a ton of barricades. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be like that uh a guy from I Am Legend. 
I entered one of the smaller apartments. I figured, you know what, I'm gonna start clearing this place out. I was placing torches down and I got most of the bottom floor done, but night was falling, so I went up to the, the very top, the right right to the roof, and wow, look how much look how much snow has accumulated. I need to shovel a bunch of this out before I get to sleep. I cleared the top floor and you know what, I figured why, why don't I just stay here for a little bit? Well, I figure out where I'm gonna build, or if I'm like, what I, 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 I'm gonna be honest, still didn't really have a concrete plan of what I was gonna do. For now, I just started clearing out this top floor, knocking down walls, and just making it so I could see more around me. Although tonight, it, it was an attack night, okay? The horde was coming. Good thing about being on the top floor is that it's it's relatively safe up here. I had to knock some zombies down when they started attacking in the staircase, and they had to light a fire to stay warm, but you know what? It, it wasn't too tough surviving up here. And the thing is that when I was lighting fires, I was noticing that they were staying lit. Doesn't matter what I lit on fire, it would just stay on fire. Which is, uh, very useful. Kinda makes up for the fact that all of the windows right here are wide open. And you know, I'm on the, a high floor of a building, so it's getting very cold. There's wind whipping through here. Okay. Survive the night. Day 30, okay? With the new mutations around, I uh, I thought uh, now was the time to make a panic room. So I closed off the elevator and dug down a bit, which I figured I would make this look a little bit better later, but for now it's someplace that I can get to very quickly if uh, things start to go south. Just run away and jump down here. So it's okay. I went back up to the roof and started shoveling snow. It's great doing that in game, shoveling snow. Just gonna make the roof. Uh, I, I thought maybe I'd make the roof of these apartment buildings like greenhouses. Or, uh, like, grow areas where I could start growing crops. In the morning, I came down and, uh, I started putting up my first wall, which... I don't know what I was doing here. It looked okay, I guess, but I, I don't know where it was gonna lead to. I don't know what the point of this wall was. I, I think I was just aimlessly doing stuff at this point. Sort of second-guessing... I'm just gonna be honest, again, I still had no idea what I was doing here, okay? I, I wrote something in my script like I had some sort of idea. No, I, I didn't know what I was doing here. I had no idea. How are you... See how much damage that zombie just did? Okay, I needed to run back to the old mansion to get uh, building supplies. On my way, I ran into the zombies. You know what? These these guys are getting pretty fast. They're getting fast men. Yeah, they're so much faster now. Like, look at this. That guy, that guy's that guy's sprinting. So they walk through fire. If I do this, they won't walk through fire. Okay, that one walks through fire. Okay, wait. What if I do this now? I also learned that they won't. They're not running through fire. It, like, deters them, which is... You know, I might be able to weaponize that later. Speaking of which, I, I haven't built a single trap yet for zombie... I mean, I built one... Just forget about that. I built... I, I need to start building zombie traps, too. When I got back to the apartment that night, I uh, shoveled the roof more. I worked on the walls outside more and uh, secured the floor directly below me. Hopefully that lowers the chance of any zombies getting up. I don't want anything digging up to me. I just dealt with that right away. I tried to go out in the morning, but there were too many zombies, so it looks like I'm just gonna have to wait them out in the panic room. I'll eventually move this place or make it look better. I didn't know what my plan was for it. For now, it's just a... Why am I calling it a panic room? It was just a dirt hole. Just a hole in the ground. Oh, look at this. I got, I got bored being down there, so I went back up and started uh, setting up barricades. That, that's that one zombie right there. Almost killed me. I took that as a sign that I should just stay inside for the rest of the day. I was also getting kind of worried because I was running out of food. And it's not like there's a ton of animals out around there. It's a frozen wasteland. And the animals that are there, I got... Right now, I have no way of growing crops to feed them. I had those sheeps in the... in the Remember the, what were the chickens from the beginning? I have no way of sustaining those things. If you want to grow crops in the winter, you gotta, you gotta make a greenhouse. I do not have that right now. The only thing I could grow was uh, potatoes. So I gotta, I gotta start doing that because I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a man who's gonna starve to death soon. I'm gonna eat through all the food I have. And when I realized that, food became my uh, most important task. So a, a day 35 of running out quick. I went back to the mansion because I knew that I had some potatoes in a chest there. And uh, look at this. One hit almost took me down to one heart. No! Oh! 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 Whoa! 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 Okay, this is not good. Th that just, th that just went from a man having fun to a man panicking. I managed to carefully get back into the mansion and heal up, but it, if it's like this and it's only day 35, it's... I, I was getting pretty stressed, okay? I'm starting to think that this video was going to be titled, I Tried to Survive 100 Days. But uh, then I realized why I was taking so much damage. L look at my armor. 
just all broken, so I made more diamond armor. Like, what was I doing running around with no armor on? Okay, the next thing I want to do was, you remember that horse? Yeah, I needed that thing now, because now that I had the saddle and uh, these zombies were getting faster, you, you need to be on horseback. You need to be able to move quickly, faster than the horde. These zombies are eventually going to be faster than me, so that horse was necessary. So on my way back to the, uh, wherever I was going, I stopped to try to get the horse, and uh, wherever he was, that, that like compound that he was in, Load of zombies, overrun. Don't know what happened while I was gone, but wow, just a lot of zombies here. So I had to hack them down, and when it was clear, uh, I tamed the horse. And that guy got on him and rolled him out of there. Faster than being on foot. I have no idea where I'm going to keep you at night. In the morning, I came down and uh, ran out the front door and started looking for my horse. Oh, hey, where's my horse? Where's my horse? There he is, I can see him. All right, my man, we gotta go. I rode that man right back to the lake where uh, I was filling my buckets with water. And then, you know what? I guess who came back? The horde. Here they come. He, he can't be can't be anywhere too long because they're gonna find you always. And I, where's my horse going? I don't know. He's going somewhere else. Got back on the horse, and uh, when I arrived, something weird happened. I just got off my horse. Like, where's the horse? I just got off it. Okay, anyone got any idea what happened to my horse? Because that, that guy just... Yeah, I should name him Houdini. You know what? That's his name, right? Houdini, the disappearing horse. It's a bad name. I'm going to call him Bob Oler. No, that's, that's even a... What name is that? I was, I was, I was starting to think my horse wasn't going to come back. And that if that was the case, if the horse was had, had disappeared, you know, I was just going to make him reappear off camera, if you know what I mean. I went up to the roof, though, and uh, I started planting my potatoes. Okay. The man who's growing potatoes up here. Where's my other bucket of water? How do you how do you lose a bucket of water? In the morning, I looked out of the window and I finally realized what I had to do. I, I got to build between those buildings out there. There's just too many variables being in the apartment. There's too many floors. There's too many doors. There's rooms everywhere. You you, you can't control everything in this apartment. It's way too you're way 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 too vulnerable. Even when you're on the upper floor. So I just. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna build between the buildings, and then I'll use the apartments as like the rooftops will be greenhouses or something. That was the plan. But for now, I just gotta I gotta mine. I gotta get a lot of cobblestone. So I mine through the panic room. And you know what? Look at this. I found diamonds again. Ooh, see that? Yeah, I wasn't at Y11. I, I I don't know what was going on, but you know what? Again, I'm not gonna complain about this. I'm just gonna take my diamonds. And I kept finding finding so many. I made. I look at this. I made shoes. I mean, anyway, I had so many diamonds that I made shoes with them. Okay, day 39. Just, uh, another day of. A risk. Another possible day of getting all my stuff destroyed. I did not want to be upstairs or anywhere near my chest, because if the zombies start... I, I just didn't want to risk it, okay? So I went down underground and figured I would just mine for the night. Nice and safe down there. You know what? I'm glad I did, because I was finding so many diamonds. Like, what was going on here? I found 13 diamonds in the last, like, four minutes. I also found lava, which is great, because I was starting to worry that I was not going to find it. Needed obsidian, so I got it. By the end of the night, I had 25 diamonds. I mean, what? A man with 25 diamonds is a rich man. Like, there's, like I said, there's some 100 days videos where I don't even get, like, 14 diamonds. So, you know what? Maybe this is making up for that. Okay, day 40. The zombies, just, I, they're... It's getting rough, okay? So my horse was back. I don't know what happened. My horse reappeared. So I was pretty happy to see that man back in. So I spent the day cutting down trees outside. And I was just thinking, wow, you know what? A very relaxing day. Very peaceful. Surprisingly calm. And uh, then this happened. Such a relaxing... I can't hear them. I, I can't hear them. The... It's, it's, it's nighttime. Hey, finally started building the wall. Day 41, and a man finally has a concrete plan, you know? The next day, I kept working on the wall, and uh, when I got home, I went upstairs and checked out my potatoes. They were... I don't know what was going on. These things should be growing by now. Yeah, I, I gotta figure that out quick, because we be heading face first into severe starvation. And then I didn't play uh, Minecraft for about three or four days. And, uh, you know what happened? By the time I got back, I forgot about the potato situation. I had no idea that I was about to walk headfirst into a potato famine. So it looks like I just started working on the wall. Not worried about the potato situation. Mm. 
No little problem solver. Oh! Well, I worked on the wall more on day 44, and, uh, you know, I got the outline up. But I was getting very low on supplies. I needed more wood, stones, coal. I, I, I was thinking that I should start enchanting my stuff soon, because it was, like, taking a long... Uh, There's a lot of stuff that I should have done by this point that I hadn't done. And then I realized that I had left tons of stuff and chests all over the city, and that in the future when zombies get even faster, it's going to be next to impossible for me to retrieve all that stuff, so... I was a man who was not doing well at this point. I was neglecting a lot of things. Oh yeah, my potatoes. These things are still not growing. In the morning, I came down to get my horse, and... It was like... I, I don't know what's going on. It was like baby day or something. What's going on with these babies? What's with... Why is there so many babies? There's... It's... What is going on with the babies? Okay, they're coming. I, I don't know how to get rid of these. I gotta fight them. Where's my horse? This is... This is terrible. I'm, I'm sweating right now. My fingers are literally sweating on the on the keys right now. On the way to the church, I stopped at this... Uh, what is this, like a hut? But I, somehow I missed this before, and there's like a ton of food in there. There's arrows, there's an enchanted bow. I, I don't know what my horse was doing. That was a man, was a man out of mind of his own, was walking off. Where's my horse? This is the problem. The horse has a mind of its own. Hey, where are you going? What are you doing down there? I got to the church and looted it and left, and I realized that I, I didn't have enough time to make it back to the mansion today, so I just went back to the apartment building where I uh, slept. The next day, when I had a full day of sunlight, nice full day, then I rode back to the mansion. I got there, got off my horse, and uh, went inside. But when I came back out, uh, the man was gone. He disappeared again. Where's my horse going? I hear him. Where's this man? I don't want to be playing these games. I just want my horse. Okay, I gotta run back now without the horse. It was fun having a horse. I liked it. I don't know if I'm gonna make it back before. This is. Where did the horse go? So I ran home without a horse. Hey, what, did I, what did I name that guy again? Ondolo? Whatever, he was gone again. This man just kept disappearing, and you, that's a man that I needed. Needed that man badly, because... You're not gonna survive without a horse. I also realized that I needed sand, and uh, I have no idea where I was gonna get sand in a place like this. Like, where, where would you even get sand? I was thinking that I might have to run outside of uh, the map to find a, like a desert biome or something. I didn't know what I was gonna do. I, I got home and... I uh, used some bone meal on my potatoes, so. Okay, so, at least... I, I don't know. Okay, day 47. You know what I did? I took that uh, Totem of Undying and just threw it away. Not using that thing. You, do, you don't get a Totem of Undying in the zombie apocalypse, okay? okay so that thing's gone. I went, uh, I needed to do some mining because I was... I needed two more obsidian to, uh... What do I need two obsidian? Oh yeah, to make an enchanting table. Which I, oh, yo, look at this. I found it very quickly. The next day, I was, I was thinking about my horse. I found that man back. He was uh, missing him, so I ran all the way back to the mansion and started looking for him. My man, where are you? Sorry that I called you a dumb horse. I need you. I need you badly. Hey! Good to see you. Yeah, mysterious horse. Good to have you back. Once I got that man back, I thought, there's no way I'm losing you again. Not a chance. So I uh, got on him and I rode him, like, outside of the map. I just kept riding, thinking that maybe I'd find sand outside here. And, uh, first time, no. No sand. Just nothing as far as the eye could see. So I turned around and went the opposite direction. Or, uh, to a different side of the map. And, again, no, absolutely no sand. And this took, like, all day. Because by the time I got back, it was getting dangerously close to dark. I barely made it inside. In the morning, I brought a lead down, because I thought, there's no way I'm losing my horse again. I'm going to tie this man up, and he's not walking off, not wandering anywhere, not going to get locked, he's just going to lock this man down. But when I got down there, guess what? Hey, horse, where are you? I, I brought a lead down to tie you up. The man was gone. A hor he disappeared again. So I just spent the day digging out the snow from around the wall, and uh, I got some wood. But now, the horde's coming. I did not know if I was going to survive the night.